Good evening. Welcome to Diversity TV, Season 9. I'm your host, Mark Harris. Uh, tonight, we have a unique show, um, a Latino youth perspective. Uh, not all of us are Latino youth, but we will continue on. We'll be showing a video uh, shot by Will Doolittle on uh, the International Declaration of Human Rights, basically underscoring the point that immigrant rights are human rights. Uh, if you are new to Diversa TV, uh, we are a weekly interview show broadcast live and then rebroadcast uh, a couple of nights later from Lane Community College main campus. And uh, our mission, and we choose to accept it, is to illuminate everyday diversity issues and give the mic and the camera to those who don't always get it. And to that end, um, our season this year is uh, looking at systems, and each season is actually an L roughly corresponding to an LCC term. So we have more than uh, 80 shows that have been recorded uh, over the last several years. And this season, uh, last week we had a Hispana Parlante perspective with Ros uh, Rosalia Marquez, uh, who is the multicultural liaison with Springfield Public School District. And uh, this week, we have uh, representatives from Amigos, a Multicultural Service Center, and Juventud Facetas. Uh, and I'll be introducing our guests shortly. So underscoring the idea that immigrate, immigrant ra immigration rights are human rights, as a uh, par having part native heritage and understanding that this is Turtle Island, not necessarily the United States of America. It's only been the United States of America for 200 years, and it was two Turtle Island for 10,000 years before that. So everybody was welcome, and the so-called, the people who are so-called illegal immigrants were actually welcome here for thousands of years before there was even an English, an alphabet in the English language. So. Many of us don't necessarily have the, the same attitude that is broadcast, say, on false, uh, excuse me, Fox News about uh, brown-skinned people. So some immigrants, if you go, go back to slide, if you will, are considered more human than others. So to find the inequalities, uh, you can look to the paper bag test, as we say it in the black community. That is, if you're darker than a brown paper bag, then you can be considered uh, non-white and then not heir to the uh, qualities of white privilege and you also look to history. So at the moment there are half a million illegal immigrants that fit the definition that are Canadian and European and no immigration is not looking for them and they are actually holding down eighty thousand dollar jobs that American, so-called Americans could do. And that includes Russians, including, for example, the Russian immigrant that killed medical student Ennis Cosby, son of Bill Cosby, you know, in Bel Air. So nobody was talking about, you know, excluding Russians all of a sudden, uh, even though Russians were enemies of the country for a while. So Blanco Cubanos, that is light-skinned Cubans, are allowed entry even when they come here illegally. Black Cubans are deported as if they're Haitians, so in, even at the same boat. So we saw that during the Elian Gonzalez affair, where there were actually two other survivors, uh, three other survivors of that uh, misadventure, and one of them was a dark-skinned Cuban who would have been deported if his light-skinned Cuban girlfriend hadn't had uncles to give him an, an immediate job. Otherwise, he would have been deported as a Haitian. And then there's Haitians who were also <laughs> deported until this recent um, adventure, misadventure with the earthquake in which uh, Obama basically gave amnesty to Haitians who were here illegally to begin to get jobs to be able to send money back. And that generated some objections from people like Rush Limbaugh. But the idea is that some illegal immigrants, the immigration policy is in fact informed by racism and therefore unfair, and therefore unjust. People come to America to not only enjoy the freedoms, but also contribute to the country, and that is a fact that has been recognized long before, as I said before, there was an alphabet in the English language. So let's look at that. So during slavery, many black slaves escaped to Mexico 
where not only did they elect the first black president, he was a former slave who outlawed slavery throughout all Mexico, which then included all the states that had Spanish names, like California, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, etc. That was all part of Mexico, and slavery was illegal there. And need I mention Tejas, where slavery was illegal there. So when we went to war with Mexico, it was not necessary to preserve freedom, but to protect slavery. So when we look at at least a third of so-called Latin America is of African descent, and there are 130 million black Africans throughout Latin America today, often who are not counted in the censuses in those countries. So there are more black people in Latin America than there are in the United States. So when we look at, and some of those immigrate here. So today, many people have been coming north to prefer to perceive freedom, just as many former slaves would head north to freedom in Canada. And so today, as then, they organize to be recognized as equal human beings. Amigos Multicultural Services Center, its mission is to pr promote respect for human rights and to advocate for the needs of immigrants from Latin America whose dignity and capabilities have been challenged by poverty, unjust treatment, and social exclusion. Uh, Amigos also engages in educational activities that focus on the nature and significance of international human rights and emphasize the importance of respecting immigrant rights as human rights. And they advocate on, on behalf of fair and equitable immigration policies that are responsive to the needs of people from Latin American nations, many of whom come to the U.S. to escape poverty, political violence, and other human rights violations. So, to that end, they also have a project started in 2002, Juventud Facita, which uh, is Youth Facets. It's also an acronym. They have their own website, the same name. And their mission is committed to providing youth with alternative growth, a safe place where they can develop social and cultural val values in an atmosphere of solidarity. And their objectives is to strengthen the individual, strengthen the families of its members, strengthen the Latino community, rescuing our cultural diversity and traditions. And I'll leave this up on our website when, as soon as we develop. You have a, an event which we'll talk about later after we show a half hour video. So let me uh, introduce our panel. To my immediate uh, right, Patricia Cortez from Hi, Migos. Mike. And uh, Serafé Suarez and Elizabeth Merrill Rio. Yeah. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Um, how did this video come about? Um, we wanted to enter it for a contest. This was at the anniversary, uh, 61 anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in uh, 2008. And um, from that, um, we discover uh, that not many people in the community knew about this document hmm. um, or the content in the document. And so we discussed with the, with the youth members about the making of the video as a way to disseminate that um, information among Latinos and you know the community in general because okay. the discovery is that not only Latinos didn't know about this <laughs> but you know um, the mainstream culture did not know about this huh. either huh. so yeah so that's uh, how the idea to uh, create this video came about the youth got really excited, and um, you know they all started um, offering the different ideas and uh, their talents. And um, there was a, a work pl plan created, and uh, we've been doing that for for almost a year. Okay. Okay. How long have you been involved with Juventud? Um, I have been involved with Juventud Faceta for about a year and a half. Okay. 
working with Patricia has been an, an amazing year, full of, full of happiness and great moments. Elizabeth? I've been involved with Juventud Faceta for, I'm guessing, like almost a year. Okay. And it's been great to learn, like, learn and join with my community, with my people. Well, I have some more specific questions for you both. Uh, right now, let's uh, run, the, roll the video, and we'll see you back in a little over half an hour. Human rights are immigrants' rights. To read your human rights. What is the human rights? They are the rights of people, my dear. No importa de donde vengan, quien son, la edad que tienen, si tienen papeles o no, todos tienen sus derechos por igual. ¿Por qué es tan importante saber de los derechos humanos? Debemos saber cómo defenderlos sin importar dónde estamos de donde somos. Some people will try to ignore them or violate them or pretend they don't exist, but nobody could take them away from you. You have the right to know. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights um, is a document that was adopted in December 10th in 1948 um, that's made up of 30 articles that talk about the different rights that all human beings have that are born with. Things like the right to people's culture, the right to uh, peace, the right to health, to education, that kind of stuff. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was created by the United Nations in 1948. The committee head by Ms. Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, wrote this document to provide a common understanding of what everyone's rights are. The Declaration forms the basis for a world built on freedom, justice, and peace. The rights of more than 12 million people are violated in the United States every day. What are we waiting for to stop it? Si se puede! A nacer libre y con igualdad. Can you guess which of these children was not born in the U.S.? Can you guess which of these children was born free? Can you guess which of these children does not deserve education? Can you guess which of these children will be treated equally? Can you guess which of these children does not deserve to be treated with dignity? Nobody can. To not be discriminated against. Prejudices are instruments used in discrimination. Thank you very much for the interview. Mm -hmm. And nice to meet you, Patricia. Thank you. All right. Me, okay. Okay. Thank well. You. Did you understand a word that she said? Not really. Well, I don't think we're gonna hire her. I'm sorry, but she's Mexican or Salvad whatever she is. I don't want someone like that working in our office. I mean, can people even understand her? And are people even gonna stand the side of her? Honestly, I'm not gonna pay someone like her to do that job that we need. Oh my gosh, do you know Juan? Yeah. He's so hot. How come Mexicans are so hot? He's not even Mexican. He's Guatemalan. He's what? Guatemalan. Oh, well then how come he speaks Spanish? Are you serious? El derecho a la vida, la libertad y la seguridad. La vida comienza con la decisión de tus padres y continúa durante la gestación. Se manifiesta cuando naces. Al nacer tienes libertad y seguridad. La vida sigue y creces. 
formas familia. La sientes en todo momento, cuando bailas, cuando sonríes y al llegar la vejez. La encuentras en la naturaleza, los campos verdes y en tu llama interior. Esta es la vida. To be free of slavery. Sweatshop, a factory where workers are forced to work with low wedges. No benefits and long hours under poor conditions. Many companies prefer to use children so they can pay even less or nothing at all. Did you know that at Nike you pay more than $100 for shoes that cost less than $5 to make? So who uses these sweatshops? Transnational companies like Nike, Disney, Gap, Old Navy, Levi Strauss, Ralph Lauren, Gus. To be safe from torture. According to Amnesty International, there are 158 countries that practice torture as a form of obtaining information from individuals. There are many forms and labels of torture. No label or form can be justified. I told them to stop, but they keep on punching me. I don't know what I did. Estaba en la cafetería, un niño vino y me empujó. Y la comida se se cayó en el piso. Hoy me siento tan solo por confesarle a mis amigos que soy homosexual. She said she was going to teach me a lesson. <sighs> he always said he would hit me, but I just never thought he would. We have the same rights no matter where you are or where you go. They were there when you were born. They were there for your first step. When you fall in love, you have them at work, you have them at school, when you make a mistake, you take them with you when you travel, you have them here and everywhere, they are with you in every moment, no matter where you go or who you are. A ser tratado con igualdad por las leyes. Many words describe different people. But for the law, we are all equal. To protect human rights against violations. If a community benefits from another person's hard labor and that person is being mistreated and not getting the, the, um, their needs met and their basic human rights needs, then that's a human rights violation. And um, it's, um, it's evil if we don't take action because we are benefiting off of their hard labor. De no ser detenido o ser condenado a prisión injustamente. Do you know that in the state of Texas, the Department of Homeland Security runs a unique kind of facility built as a prison, run as a prison? The T. Don Huto facility houses hold a special kind of inmate, children. Angie, two years old, and Nick Scotty, nine years old, confined there for three months and 16 days. Reina, 12 years old, confined there for three months and five days. 
U.S. Immigration Custom Enforcement, ICE, holds immigrant families at Huto. At Huto, children wear prison garb, get only minimal recreation, and are denied proper health care and educational needs. There are plans for more facilities like Huto. The next one could be in our state. The right to trial? Due process is one of the cornerstones of the U.S. system of justice. However, within hours of their arrest, many immigrants caught up in raids are transferred to remote out-of-state detention centers and pressured into signing removal orders. Inhumane and cruel conditions of confinement in immigration detention centers are pervasive. Immigrants of any legal status are denied their constitutional right to a day in court and judges must automatically deport them. Others have been detained for prolonged periods. A ser considerado inocente hasta que se pruebe nuestra culpabilidad. Elizabeth, no encuentro mi iPad, ¿no has visto? No. ¿Ya vieron que me compré un nuevo iPad? ¿Y eso? Sí, mira, me lo compré el, el, la semana pasada. Me costó 60 dólares. Bueno, te salió barato. No, ah, pero pues sí, pero me tiré. No tienes mi iPad, devuélvemelo. ¿Qué te pasa? No, este me lo compré hace una semana. Es nuevo, me lo acabo de comprar. No, es de ella. Pero lo no. acabo de comprar, ¿qué te está diciendo? ¿Y tienes pruebas de que te lo compraste? Yo apenas se me perdió el mío. Ah, pues sí, yo te puedo traer la factura, pero tú no puedes probar que yo me robé tu iPod. to privacy. The freedom to migrate. Todos tenemos el derecho de buscar un lugar seguro para vivir. En 1982, más de 250 iglesias ofrecen santuarios a refugiados salvadoreños y guatemaltecos. The border crossing stories are permanent and they're very etched in people's mind. And the experience of being undocumented, of being illegal, and being sort of labeled and really racialized in that sense, really sticks with people. Um, even after they're legalized, people don't forget that and they still understand the way people look at them and the way they perceive them. Sabían ustedes que las redadas no son nuevas, que um, han estado, pero no nos dábamos cuenta. Las redadas empezaron en 1919, cuando atacaron no nada más a, a los hispanos, o los mexicanos, sino a todo Latinoamérica y de Europa que organizaban a todos los trabajadores, no solo mexicanos. Everyone has the right to nationality and the right to change it. Y pues yo soy Víctor Flores y soy de Honduras y estoy muy feliz de estar aquí. Ok, yo soy Gerardo Enrique López Hernández, soy de Salvador. Yo soy Ana Lucía Cabanilla Enciso, yo soy de Perú. Me, I'm from Hillsboro, Oregon. I am from Michoacán, México. My name is Serife Suárez, 
Uh, I'm from Ecuador and I speak Spanish. I'm from Mexico. Yo soy de Colombia. We are all humans. To marry who you want and to start a family. La familia es el elemento natural y fundamental de la sociedad y tiene derecho a la protección del Estado. La diversidad familiar es muy amplia y no se limita a un hombre, una mujer y sus hijos, sino va más allá del género, raza, religión, nacionalidad y composición familiar. The right to your property. Every person has the right to individual and collective property. Libertad de pensamientos. Yo creo en mí porque tengo éxito, soy dueña de mi propio negocio, contribuyo a la comunidad latina. Yo creo en la igualdad. I believe in family. I believe in those in need. I believe in friends. I believe in respect. I believe that we can come together as a community. I believe in the power of every person to change the world. I believe in kindness. I believe in actual beauty. I believe in friends. I believe in friendship and I and I like my family because then once I go to my soccer games they could cheer for me. Para mí lo más importante es la familia, la sinceridad, la honestidad, la educación y creer en nuestras metas y en nosotros mismos. Yo creo en ser quien yo quiero ser. What do you believe in? Libertad de expresión. El derecho a organizar la comunidad y hacer demostraciones públicas. The right to equal opportunity. Hay una gran desigualdad en oportunidades sociales, económicas, de educación, de justicia y de trabajo. The right to social security. Yo como muchas personas llegué a este país con muchos sueños, he mirado muchas cosas. Para sobrevivir necesitas trabajar y necesitas tu seguro. Tú no puedes pensar que el banco puede hacer algo mal, entonces Tú empiezas a llenar tus aplicaciones y te empiezan a llegar tus tarjetas de crédito, de tiendas, de banco. Um, pasa el tiempo y tú tienes un buen crédito porque creaste un buen récord. Puedes comprar tu casa y el sueño de todas las personas la compras. De repente tienes una llamada de que estás robando una identidad. 
pero no sabiendo que tú no estás robando nada porque es tu propia tu propia identidad, simplemente que alguien lo está agarrando y te están acusando de robo de identidad. Yo pienso que eso es uno de los derechos que se están violando en este país porque todos venimos a trabajar, estamos haciendo progresar este país gracias a que todas las personas que estamos aquí estamos contribuyendo porque también estamos haciendo nuestros impuestos. Y ahí no nos piden un número de seguro social, ahí sí podemos tener un número PIN y lo hacemos. Y todo está, está creciendo, entonces yo no veo por qué se está violando ese derecho de no tener un seguro social cada quien. Y ya toda tu vida se echa a perder porque no tienes un número de seguro social. Muchas veces puedes quedar inválido para toda tu vida y no va a haber nada para ti porque no puedes ir al desempleo. En tu trabajo ya no te van a querer porque tú ya no sirves para trabajar. Todos tienen derecho al trabajo. Hay muchas condiciones malas. Por ejemplo, está uno trabajando a medio fil y no ponen agua. Entonces, cuando uno consigue, no ponen agua. Los baños muchas veces ya están llenos y inclusive a veces no tienen ni baños. Y, este, y si la gente anda medio filo hasta el final, el otro filo tiene que venir hasta acá, hasta el otro lado del fil, caminar como media milla o menos de media milla o hasta más, inclusive una milla o más para hacer sus necesidades fisiológicas. Y, este, y en eso le están también corriendo el tiempo. Y en algunas ocasiones a los mayordomos les gritan, les regañan, los tratan como si fueran unos animales y eso no tiene que ser, no tiene que pasar eso. Yo de trabajo, ¿no? El mayordomo me trata, pues, más o menos. A veces me dice que sana, babis, ¿no? Que malas palabras a mí. Cuando uno está trabajando bien y a veces llega uno ahí, ¡paz! Una patada y es, es gabacho. Llega y ¡saz! Una patada, a veces ¡saz! En la cabeza, así, ¿no? Y eso saca de onda, ¿no? Pues uno viene enojado acá, pues, ¿qué? Pues, ¿qué trae? Está uno a gusto y luego ahí ¡saz! Y luego algo que no le parece, luego le dice, ¡oh! ¿Quieres ir para tu casa? ¡Dale! <risa> ¡Vete! The right to play and have fun. Hola, hola, hola. Cuando todo es felicidad. We all have the right to food, health care, and shelter. Aquí está muy difícil el trabajo, dijo, porque aquí en cuanto saca uno para la renta, para la comida, para los biles, te queda sin nada. No saca uno para más. Digo, puedes quedar pues, también los trabajos, pues no pagan mucho y. Labor camps are down dirt roads, they're on private property. You, you do not see how the people live who are the folks that are putting the food on our tables. And it's awful. Even the best labor camp is pretty bad and lots of them are nothing short of a disgrace. El ranchero le brinda, le brinda este pues casa, pero realmente no es casa, sino es, es este, una galera hecha por láminas nada más y eh, donde lo ocupa como garage, donde guarda su herramienta y todo lo que no le sirve, ¿no? Y ahí mete dos, tres familias, pues, y eso es lo que les brinda a él a, a la persona, pues, las personas que, que llegan a trabajar con él. Pues por ese lado es un poco malo, ¿no? Todos tenemos derecho a la educación. By the year 2025, nearly one quarter of the nation's college age population will be Latino, but not enough for earning college and university degrees. Accelerating Latino student success now and for the next 15 years is vital to our national interest. 
I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a graphic designer. Yo quiero ser el próximo presidente de este país. I want to be a pediatrician. I want to be a sketch artist. I want to be a vet. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a trauma therapist. A college professor. Police officer. A chef. A lawyer. Since 2004, Juventud Faceta has participated in marches, promoting the right that everyone has to an education. The right to express our culture. The right to justice, peace, and dignity for all. Esa es una situación muy triste porque nosotros aparentemente vivimos felices aquí, pero eso es una mentira. Porque todos los días uno se levanta con la preocupación de que hoy salí a trabajar y es posible que no regrese. Y tenemos hijos que necesitan de nosotros, que dependen de nosotros. Eh, es un riesgo que corre uno. Y no somos criminales. Eh, cometimos un delito, sí. Lo acepto, al entrar aquí legalmente, pero es un, como llaman aquí, es un delito pequeño a comparación de muchos delitos graves que cometen otras personas, ¿no? Entonces nosotros el delito es venir a querer vivir bien, conseguir una forma de vida más digna, de comer lo que nunca hemos comido. O sea, venimos a, a buscar este, vivir bien y a la vez contribuir to build community. Imagina un mundo lleno de justicia, libertad e igualdad de oportunidades para todos. Un lugar donde la gente puede viajar a cualquier lugar. Siempre tiene que comer lo que quiera, tener zapatos y ropa y no tener miedo al caminar por la calle. Un mundo donde todos tienen la libertad de vivir de aprender, de jugar y de ser ellos mismos. Si todos trabajamos para crear ese mundo, lo podemos lograr. El derecho a defender los derechos humanos, nadie nos los puede quitar. Estos son tus derechos humanos, te pertenecen. No tienes que pedir permiso para tenerlos, son tuyos. No importa quién seas, de dónde vengas, la edad que tienes o el color de tu piel. No importa tu orientación sexual, tu estado migratorio, si eres rico o pobre, solamente son tuyas. Algunas personas tratarán de ignorarlos o de violarlos o pretender que no existen. You have them at home, you have them at work, you have them every day, everywhere. Nadie puede quitártelos. Tú tienes el derecho de saber. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? That's why. Yeah. Yo. Mundo norteamericano. Mundo sistematizado. Mundo norteamericano. Mundo sistematizado no me agrada ni como fanático Vengo de la tierra maya así que no se pase de la raya Porque traigo las acallas para terminar esta batalla Para ti que me preguntas de mi nacionalidad Eso no importa porque sangre corre por tus venas Sangre corre por las mías No importa si eres policía o si perteneces a la CIA Si no lo sabías, mi ideología no es hipocresía Simplemente simpatía para los seres humanos Mira como la pobreza se refleja en la naturaleza El planeta tierra está a punto de acabarse con tanta catástrofe Un notero que me escucha El momento ha llegado y nunca vio la sociedad No queremos dictadores, no queremos comunistas, mucho menos los racistas 
El tiempo no ha terminado de ser discriminado, esclavizado por la blanca sociedad que vinieron a conquistar el continente. Mira a los campesinos marginados, explotados por su misma raza humana, como si no fuéramos hermanos. Injusticia practicada por la minoría que se adueña de la riqueza. Yo, yo. Vengo de la tierra azteca, así que más te vale si respetas porque traigo legacía de Pancho Villa y el que no se ahoría, luego que se arrodilla como al papa, así que no sonríe, no es fantasía, respeto al que respeta, te miro como me mira, sonrío si sí sonríe, pero no acepto hipocresía porque tengo la sangre fría. Ahora les dedico esta canción con todo mi corazón a la raza que me escucha, traigo la potencia de una bomba química, química y crítica, latinos. Latinos unidos jamás será vencidos. Ahora ha llegado gente latina, demuéstrale al mundo que todo es posible. Le traigo este mensaje a la blanca sociedad que me mira y me imagina. Piensa que he venido a invadir este país cuando mis ancestros eran dueños de esto. Ahora les dedico esta canción con todo mi corazón a la raza que me escucha. Traigo la potencia de una bomba química, química y crítica. Latinos, latinos unidos jamás será vencidos. Ahora ha llegado gente latina, demuéstrale al mundo que todo es posible. Le traigo este mensaje a la blanca sociedad que me mira y me imagina. Piensa que he venido a invadir este país cuando mis ancestros eran dueños de esto. Mundo norteamericano, no me agrada ni como fanático. Mira como la pobreza se refleja en la naturaleza Si no lo sabías, mi ideología no es hipocresía Porque sangre corre por tus venas, sangre corre por las mías Yo, yo, dedicada para mi gente De Guatemala, Salvador, Centroamérica, Sudamérica If you feel me, put your hands in the air If you feel me, throw your hands in the air Did you feel me throw your hands in the air? Yo. All right, the video that you've just seen, we're back. It was produced, shot, and uh, recorded and edited by the youth of Juventud Facitas uh, and obviously mentored by uh, Will Doolittle, but uh, they were all in the mix. And um, I want to give proper props because that was quite amazing. Um, Thank you. So um, this is a standard question, just standard diversity TV question because this, the assumption is, especially when we're in Oregon, I was one, people that looked like me and you were once illegal here and, and the formation of the state, even if you were American. So I ask, where are you from? As if you're not from here. And if you are from here, say that. So where are you from? I'm from Morelos in Mexico. Okay. I'm from Ecuador okay. in South America. And I'm from El Salvador, Central America. And I'm from an island called California. <laughs> How did you come to Eugene, Springfield? Um, my parents brought me here when I was five months old. Okay. I, brought, I was brought here by, uh, by my parents because they wanted a better future for me. Okay. That's very much it. Then when you could, okay, all right. So describe Amigos. Amigos. Um, Amigos is uh, this organization. Um, been, it has been in the community since 1993, and it was formerly known as the um, Amigos de los Sobrevivientes, which uh, at that time was, um, um, helping families coming from uh, different parts of Latin America and El Car Caribe mm -hmm. to overcome uh, uh, political persecution and the trauma suffered by the effects. Um, when the, the, um, the government changed, you know, the uh, senior Bush won mm -hmm. the elections, Amigos lost all the privilege to get um, visas for, okay. for guests. And so it turned into Amigos Multicultural Services Center. And uh, the main focus started to change from being a, a social service organization to be an organizing 
um, social change movement. And uh, so Juventud Faceta became the full force of the organization. So this happened in 2002. Okay. So Faceta, in addition to being facets, mm -hmm. is an acronym. What is that acronym? Yes. Uh, the F stands for family. Okay. Uh, the A is for apprenticeship. Um, the C is for community. The E is for enthusiasm. The T is for triumph. And the, uh, the last A is amistad or friendship. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so many of us became activists because of our experiences here. Um, is that true for y'all? Because the video depicts uh, discrimination. Uh, and you acted, shot, and basically that, w that was constructed. So what experiences of discrimination you know, ha have you encountered? You want to go? Mm. Well, I know I have uh, many experiences. <laughs> um, and you know, and uh, speaking about discrimination is uh, is is very uh, difficult for different individuals. I I know that uh, working with uh, young people, um, there's uh, a lot of uh, shame that comes with it, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of anger coming with it. And uh, sometimes it's a, it's a mixture of emotions that uh, doesn't let us label it as is. Yeah. Um, and so uh, one of my, you know, my, my experiences, very subtle, Mark, um, standing in the, at the grocery store, you know, getting ready to, to pay, um, you know, how the, the person at the register, they tell you, hi, how are you today? Did you find everything okay? You know, and, uh, and so then, then the next person, here I come, right? No greeting for me, no hi, did you find everything okay? You know, so as if I was invisible, mm -hmm. okay? And then the other very subtle, I pay cash, they give me the money, the, my, my change, you know, wasn't given in my hand. It was put on the table. Oh. Okay? Okay. So, you know, that's... Uh, that's we have a that's, name for that. Yeah. It's called microaggressions or micro insults. That's right. Right. So, that's, that's one of the, the ones that I experienced, among many others. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some pretty violent. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, some of the things were, that were depicted in the film were, okay, uh, if you're Spanish-speaking, the assumption is you're Mexican. And no matter what your origin, even though, right. you know, I mean, so, one, I'm not from there if you're not from there. And two, what does that mean? Uh, and what do, that means I'm less than you? What, what does that mean in terms of that discrimination, even right. if you've been here, you know, even if you're, I mean, because that happens actually to people who are born in America. Too, yeah. being uh, discriminated against in that way. Um, so this video that you shot, uh, edited, etc., was uh, submitted for a contest for human rights and mm -hmm. won that contest. Um, and it depicts various forms of discrimination, torture, assault carried out by nations, businesses, and individuals. I mean, that's what the Human Rights Declaration is talking about. Um, one of the things, one of the many things that struck me is um, a children's prison. Yeah. A children's prison. Yeah. In, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm prejudiced against Texas for a number of reasons, but a children's prison. Mm -hmm. But I think what was shocking in what you were telling me is that there were plans for one here. Yeah. Yeah, I... Um a children's prison in Oregon. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, um, you know that the prison industry is one of the multi-million dollars industry there is in, in this country. And so having a, a prison in the state brings a lot of revenue to the state. Um, and so uh, 
many states look at that as a way to bring, you know, mo money in. Um, and uh, when I when the video showed that there's plans for one in Oregon, you know, that there's no joke. Uh -huh. um, this I I don't know all the details, but I know that um, there's plans to to build one somewhere between. Um, um, was this um, Junction City? Oh, and that oh, that prison. Yeah. Okay, so the the prison that was depicted in Tejas was put on by Homeland Security. So I mean, that kind of begs the question: How are children terrorists, and how is housing children in a prison a response to terrorism? Right. And so. You know, if they decide to build such a prison in Junction City, because you know, I thought that was for Oregon adult inmates that were citizen citizen criminals, mm -hmm. right? And so, again, even if a part of that facility was to house children, that's mm -hmm. I mean, people should know about that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it happened uh, frequently that you know that they when they move in, there's only one detention center for for ICE. And that is in Tacoma, Washington. So when they move in, uh, uh, you know, uh, people to the facility, they uh, a lot of times they stop and they pay, you know, just regular uh, jails like the county jail to in-house those uh, those prisoners for days or month mm -hmm. before they are moved. They they are moved to to Tacoma, Washington. So. And uh, we are aware about those movements because that's what we do. We watch. Hmm. Uh, one of the issues raised was the DREAM Act. Uh, could you talk mm -hmm. about the DREAM Act? Because, you know, if that gets passed, you could be beneficiaries of it. Right. That's right. Um, <clears throat> DREAM Act is one of the things that all youth people want. It's, it's something like it will benefit you, like, with a lot of money. It will open doors for you, like to become a citizen. But there is another side uh, side of the Dream Act, and that's being of, in the military. Mm. And we are aware of that. And sometimes we feel like we have to take an action and and tell some tell tell the other folks that there is a way to like to get the citizenship hmm. without hmm. getting in trouble. Or right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm told you're the webmaster for uh, <laughs> Uventud. And uh, can we go to slide for a second here? Thanks. Um, this is an event coming up, uh, CHIDO, which I'm told means cool. <laughs> And it's an acronym, uh, Comunidades Hispana Innovando y uh, Desarrollando Objectivos, which means uh, community, Hispanic community innovating and developing goals. Yeah. Uh, and this is Friday, January 29th at Whitaker School, which is 21 North Grand. Can you tell me about that? What, what's that all about? Well, basically the name tells Tell us by itself is a gallery, uh, gallery art walk. We are presenting our art in in some way that we can es express ourselves, and we are doing collages. Okay. And yeah, each one of us is going to present two pieces of art. And so is that display art? I mean, because I heard some rapping over there. So like, okay, what music? What else? Yeah, there's gonna be music and what else? Maybe some snacks. Yeah, it's gonna be a friendly space. We're gonna show the video. I want to leave. Yeah, we're gonna show the video. I wanna leave. It's another production. Oh, it's so what? Production. What is that about? It's about. Um, it's about almost about suicide, but the girl in the video doesn't do it because that's the point to not do that, mm. to stop it. Because the 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 rate of suicide has been increasing in among youth Latino community. Okay. So, yeah, and it was another content 
contest, and so we decided to make this video. Um, has been going on so good so far. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, an, an interesting piece with that, Mark, is that you know we were going to submit this video, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I uh, I fill up all the submission and and it was uh, of a group called American um, Philanthropic Society. Okay. Okay. So I got an email back from them saying that they could not take our entry because there was no citizenship. Ah. Okay. So that's one of the things that uh, you're fighting for, yeah. to basically look at that issue. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, we're uh, about out of time. If you like what you've seen, uh, email us at diversitv uh, at uh, liveclass.lanecc.edu. Put diversitv in the subject line. Also, uh, you might want to, uh, we're in our second to last season. Uh, so if you'd like the television station to continue, let us know that too. Um, and we'll be seeing great things from Juventud and Amigos. Thank you yeah, for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for inviting us. This has been Diversity TV. Go well, stay well.